Hakim Ziyech has come a very long way. Following his father's death, he came through a long period full of struggles. His drug and alcohol addiction nearly ruined his young career. And when his best friend fell into a coma, he thought about stopping everything. But in the end, Hakim Ziyech decided to take things back into his hands to fight and reach the peak of football. Thanks to a lot of hard work and with the help of incredible people, he managed to rebuild himself back up. If you think that there's no solution to your problems, take inspiration from Hakim Ziyech's astonishing journey. Everything started on March 19, 1993 in Dranten, the Netherlands. It was in this city, situated between Amsterdam and Zwolle, that Hakim Ziyech was born. The little boy was the ninth and final kid in his family. His father, Mohammed, came to the region midway through the 60s. Originally from Morocco, he left his country in the hope of finding a job and better living conditions for his family. Unfortunately, things weren't as simple as he'd hoped. He managed to find what he was looking for without finding a fortune, and the situation got gradually more complicated as his family grew. When Hakim was born, his older siblings were already working with their father. As for the little boy, he wasn't very worried about daily struggles. When he found football, it was the one and only thing that occupied his thoughts. At first, he played on Cruyff Court, which was on the promenade in front of his house. After school, he went there with his friends and spent hours kicking the ball around, or at least manipulating it with a lot of dexterity. Because Hakim quickly showed his amazing technical skills, technique that he refined thanks to the players that he watched on the TV at the weekend. He quickly came up with an idea to recreate the same feats as his two biggest idols. There were two players that I loved watching, like Ronaldinho and Zidane, players of this caliber, I watched them a lot when I was little. I remember that every day when I was 10 years old, I'd watch their videos on YouTube. Football became his biggest passion. At seven years old, he joined Real Dranton, where he met Aziz Dufikar. The first club was a revelation for the little boy who completely flourished. But as is often the case, good things unfortunately come to an end. On December 23, 2003, young Hakim's trajectory took a tragic turn. For months, his father had been fighting against a serious illness. On that day, he ultimately fell in this very long and difficult fight. His death marked an unexpected turning point in the life of the Ziyech clan's youngest member. Hakim drowned his sorrows in things that were much less glittery than football. As a teen, he succumbed to all the worst things. Alcohol, drugs, and crime. The young man no longer had what it takes to succeed. Or at least, he didn't have any desire. It was in this way that he followed in the footsteps of his older brother, who hadn't managed to break through in the football world. Despite all the love within his family, the teen was overcome by the tragic turn of events. However, there was still one man who decided to accompany him on this downward spiral. Aziz Dufikar. In his hardest moments, he was the person who gave Ziyech the strength not to give up. And this was even when the boy was playing at Hirenveen. Far from his family, Hakim didn't handle the situation well at all. Things got even worse when he started taking drugs. At 16 years old, he stopped going to school, and his future was more uncertain than ever. He rarely played for his club because of his troubles. But Aziz didn't give up easily. I helped him as best I could to distance himself from this bad path. I was his mentor in a way, his father, his coach, Happily, he quickly made a realization about his future. It was football. There are things that have to be said. Aziz Dufikar saved Hakim Ziyech. His protege made an effort, but hadn't changed enough. In 2010, he was on the point of signing his first professional contract, but his bad habits caught up with him. Hakim found himself in court for acts of violence, intentional arson, and verbally assaulting a police officer. But one year later, he would begin a period of extraordinary resilience. During a tournament a few months earlier, the player met the man who would become his agent, Mustafa Nakli. To distance him from what was rotting his career, Nakli took Hakim with him to Amsterdam. 
They shared an apartment together for three years, and this changed everything. Young Ziesh found himself in a much more stable and less toxic framework. This was the start of an amazing rise. From then on, the Dronton native worked extremely hard to earn his place on the team. The 2012-2013 season is the one where he really took off. After a few good games, Marco Van Basten sent him to here in Veen's youth team for no specific reason. A lack of support that didn't scare Hakim Ziesh. On the contrary, he used it as motivation to come back even stronger. The following year, he managed to join the first team and establish himself. But everything really gained speed when he joined Twente. Hakim Ziyech confirmed that he was something special there. His game time built up and the player made more and more goals and assists. At the end of the 2015-2016 season, he received a number of individual prizes. But one thing was certain, he wasn't at his best level, yet. To show his talent to the entire world, he had to move to a higher level. Join the elite and play for the biggest clubs. In the summer of 2016, he signed for the legendary Ajax Amsterdam with two main goals. Win titles and play in the Champions League. And once again, his performances spoke for themselves. Hakim quickly became one of the best passers in the Eredivisie. The Moroccan international seemed to be at the peak of his art. But an event brought him to a complete halt again. On July 8, 2017, his friend Abdelak Nouri collapsed on the pitch. He'd suffered a heart attack. The kid was placed in an artificial coma. This incident had a devastating impact on Hakim Ziesh. While his friend was in the hospital, the playmaker thought about stopping everything. But once again, Ziesh took stock of how lucky he was. To honor Abdelak, he decided to keep fighting and playing. Ziesh was not at his top level for weeks. But thanks to a lot of hard work and determination, he returned to the top. And strangely enough, he had an historic season. While the titles were lacking, he kept his head up to move forward. The best player in the Dutch league was on his way. The two years that followed were full of success. A Dutch champion, but more significantly, a Champions League semi-finalist. When he had the chance to leave the club, he refused out of loyalty. Bayern, Manchester United, money was far from being his priority. But to go even higher, you have to sometimes make a fresh start. So, in 2020, he joined Chelsea for $49 million. In London, he surpassed his dream of just playing in the European Cup. Yes, surpassed, because between playing in a European Cup and playing in the final, there's a world of difference. A galaxy, even. An extraordinary rise for the kid from Dronton. Ten years ago, no one could have bet on this happening. Over the years, Hakim Ziyech has proved that you should never give up. He also proved that alcohol and drugs weren't viable solutions to his problems. By fighting these demons, he managed to shine in the sport he loved. Hakim realized he had a gift for football, but to get where he's got to, he had to work very hard. When one of his friends almost died, he thought about giving everything up, but he bravely kept fighting to pay tribute to him in the best possible way. And today, he's one of the best in his field. So, don't let life's troubles take over. Be stronger than ever and be the master of your own destiny. Because even when you're at your lowest, it's possible to reach the very top.